The oral cavity of a patient with diabetes may show a susceptibility in reactions to injury, infection, and all local irritants. Oral findings may be indicative of undiagnosed diabetes and should be referred to a physician for evaluation. When you have diabetes, high blood sugar can take a toll on your entire body, including your teeth and gums. People with diabetes are more susceptible to infections and periodontal disease than those without it. Inadequate dental biofilm control contributes to more severe tissue response because of decreased resistance. Periodontitis may cause the blood sugar levels to rise, making diabetes more difficult to control. Diabetes causes abnormalities in the blood vessels and specific high levels of inflammatory chemicals such as interleukins that significantly increase the chances of periodontal disease. Having diabetes increases the risk of severe periodontal disease, especially when poorly controlled. Poorly controlled diabetics have more harmful cytokines in their gingival tissue, causing destructive inflammation of the gums. Diabetics tend to lose collagen, an important protein for connective tissue in the gingiva. Beneficial growth factors are reduced, interfering with the healing response to infection. Reduced circulation in the gums due to diabetes interferes with nutrition and healing in the gingival tissues. Diabetics may be more prone to cavities due to higher glucose levels in their saliva. Another symptom of diabetes may be dry, cracked lips. They may also show symptoms of decreased saliva flow, glucose in their circular fluids, and xerostoma, which contributes to opportunistic infections such as oral candidiasis. A dental hygienist may suggest fluoride treatments, particularly with xerostoma. Proper nutrition is essential to good control of diabetes. When gums are tender, a diabetic may opt for foods that are not appropriate for their diet. It is essential that diabetics care for their teeth. Dentures are not a good option for diabetics because of the tendency for gum irritation and the possibility of infection. Procedures such as complete scaling, root planning, reduce the possibility of sore gums. This is why it is important that diabetics see their dentist and dental hygienist on a regular basis. When dealing with a type 2 diabetic patient, it is important to know what dental considerations to take to prevent any medical emergencies. For example, the scheduling of appointments, their diet, monitoring of blood glucose, and also know the actions to take place during and after the appointment. During treatment of a type 2 diabetic patient, the most common complication that occurs is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a condition which occurs when one's blood glucose is lower than normal. The symptoms of this can be confusion, dizziness, double vision, drowsiness, headache, trembling, or weakness. It is important for clinicians to ensure that the patient has eaten normally. If the patient skips breakfast owing to the dental appointment but still takes the normal dose of insulin, the risk of a hypoglycemic episode is increased. Depending on the patient's medical history, dentists may need to measure the blood glucose level before beginning a procedure. If the clinician suspects that a patient has experienced a hypoglycemic episode, he or she should terminate dental treatment immediately and administer a fast-acting oral carbohydrate such as glucose tablets, candy, soft drinks, or juice. After immediate treatment, dentists should measure blood glucose levels to confirm the diagnosis and determine if repeated carbohydrate dosing is needed. After dental treatment takes place, one must be aware of the dietary intake, infection control because diabetes is strongly associated with poor healing and medications like salicylates because they increase insulin secretion and sensitivity. Therefore, one should avoid prescribing aspirin to the patient.